everyone, it's Joelle and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have been getting a couple requests for people asking what my wash day products are when I'm not being sponsored, when I'm not reviewing any products. So kind of what are the products that I kind of just go for? What do I grab when I'm at the store? What do I use on a regular basis? But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Once we reach 60,000 subscribers, I'll be giving any one of you any product line of your choice. Also, don't forget to check out my Untamed and Unashamed merch down below. And now you guys can also become a member on my channel. If you go ahead and click the join button next to the subscribe button underneath my video, it'll go ahead and bring up a couple of different member packages for you guys. It gives you access to members only perks such as early access to my videos, video shout outs, merch discounts, and even little badges that go next to your username. So don't forget to also check that out. But let me go ahead and introduce you guys to this week's promo. Boho Chic, Floral, Candy, Coastal, or Summer in the City. Find your perfect collection and new set of accessories with Clearly Kristen Jewelry, created by Kristen Fenrick, to help women get out of financially insecure or unhealthy situations. With so many styling options, you'll find a pair that fits you and your style, such as the Giselle Silver Tone Dangle Earrings, the Lily Petal Rhinestone Earrings, fun, colorful options like the Phoenix Rhinestone and Fringe Dangle Earrings, the Oleana Flower Dangle Earrings, and the Paola Pineapple Earrings. Studs, hoops, statement pieces, and simple daily looks to choose from. Accessorize and complement every outfit with Clearly Kristen's Fashion Jewelry. Grab your favorite pieces at clearlychristinjewelry.com and keep up with them on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you are the owner of a business, especially a black owned business and would love to collaborate and promote your business and also sponsor a video, I have my promo request forms now down below in the description box. So if you guys are interested, please go ahead and send that in. I'd love to collaborate with you. Or if you have any questions, you can send me an email at charmainejoyelle at gmail.com. But let's get started. So I've received a few comments where people ask, you know, what products do I use when I am not either A, being sponsored, or B, doing a review for you guys. So what are my kind of go-to wash day products? Especially when you're on a budget, I tend to sell the rest of my products that I review for you guys on my Poshmark so that others have an opportunity to try those products, maybe for less than the full price, or maybe they don't want to dedicate themselves to a full bottle. But when I'm not reviewing a product, and unless I really, really like it, I tend to try and keep my wash day routine sort of budget friendly. And then I have the option to kind of, you know, branch out to some of my other favorite brands that maybe have that maybe are a little bit more expensive. You guys know that I always start my wash day routine with a pre-poo, which is basically just me applying the oil of my choice, which typically is like olive oil mixed with grapeseed oil, sometimes coconut oil, but not not that often. It's usually only olive oil or olive oil and grapeseed oil mixed. But I put that in a little hair dye bottle because of the nozzle and I apply it to my scalp, massage that in, and then I also apply a little bit to my ends, covering it with a plastic bag and allowing my body heat to kind of get that oil to almost loosen up my hair. It helps kind of break up the maddedness of my hair and allows me to manipulate my hair easier throughout the wash day process. Also, with the pre-poo, when I massage the oil into my scalp, it's also helping me get a jump start on removing the product buildup. So I wash my hair with just a Kroger, just like a store brand, it's the Kroger Dandruff Shampoo Plus Conditioner for dry scalp, so it's their two-in-one moisture balancing dry scalp relief. This is the one I use, I just get it at Fry's, just the grocery store that's here in Arizona. And I've also discussed how I sometimes battle with dandruff and an itchy scalp, and this works amazing. It's cheap, it works, and it doesn't strip my hair because again, I decided to get the two-in-one for the moisture so again, it doesn't strip my hair. I don't like when shampoos overly strip my hair unless of course I'm doing a detox mask or using a specifically a cleansing shampoo. After shampooing, you guys know that I will then go in with my deep conditioner to restore the moisture in my hair and also help with the detangling process after. I don't have a specific deep conditioner that I always grab. I tend to just use up what I'm, what either what I already have if I like it, or I'll mix my Tresemme Botanic Coconut and Aloe Vera conditioner. I have been using this conditioner since I basically big chopped, but 
The deep conditioner that I decided to use for this wash day that I had on hand was the main choice, do it for the culture deep conditioning mask. Smells amazing, leaves my hair super soft, still highly recommend it. But that was the conditioner I decided to use for this wash day. Again, if I don't have a deep conditioner, I just take the Tresemme Botanic Conditioner, maybe add a little bit of olive oil, and I'll use that as my conditioner. I also have started to twist my sections into like little buns because it allows the hot heads cap to sit better on my hair. So after twisting it up, I put a plastic bag on, heat up my hot heads cap, and let that sit on my hair until it cools down, which is about 30, 40 minutes. And then I go ahead and I don't rinse out all the deep conditioner. I use it to help me detangle my hair. And this is the step where I would usually use my Tresemme Botanic Coconut and Aloe Vera Conditioner. It has amazing slip, it's a light scent so it's not super strong, and provides amazing moisture to my hair. Unfortunately, I didn't realize I only had a little bit left, so I only had enough for like three of my sections, so I just went in with the Do It For The Culture Courageous Conditioner. That's the conditioner I use. Again, I've used this ever since I picked chopped my hair, probably even before. It's just the conditioner I find worked really, really well for my hair. I love the size of the bottle. I would like to try and find a black owned hair conditioner bottle like same price range same size so if you guys have any recommendations let me know but that is like my go-to conditioner it used to be like the Aussie Moist but I like this one because it doesn't have any of the extra stuff in it like the silicones and whatnot and just I dampen the section with some more water apply the conditioner and then I go ahead and I start detangling with my Felicia Leatherwood brush now because I broke my other white tooth comb. So this is the brush that I use now. And I just go ahead and detangling, kind of dispersing the conditioner a little bit more. And then I didn't retwist the section, I just put it back in, in a hair tie, let the conditioner sit the rest of my shower, and then I went ahead and rinsed. With my leave-ins, it's kind of the same thing. If I really like a leave-in, and it's from a collection I reviewed, I just kind of use it until I run out. And I've actually mentioned this leave-in before, and it's in my top favorite leave-ins, but it's the TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. I love this. It's thick, it's moisturizing, it's softening, it works amazing on my hair. I love it. I just use <laughs> probably about a quarter size amount now and a little more generous with it. I really like it, and especially since it doesn't leave any residue on my hair. I smooth that through my hair, also squeezing each section to make sure it's kind of like getting through. And then again, brushing it through with my Felicia Leatherwood brush. But also, for my last product, I have been, you guys know that I have done promos and have worked with the company Biddle Things and their butters and their oils, and I've become friends with their creator, Sarah. Her products are amazing. Again, I've kind of been working with her since I've done my big chop, and I love her products. I've raved about her butter, but over the last few months, I have actually been using her Biddle Glow Drops. It's a lighter oil, and I've been using it as my sealant. It smells like watermelon and it smells super good. It makes any hair product that you're using smell like a thousand times better. But that is what I use for my sealant. You only need like one or two drops for each section. Again, disperse, rubbing that over each section and then combing it through with your brush. I feel like the LCO method is benefiting me more as my hair gets longer, or it's needed more as my hair gets longer. So, you know, I apply the, the leave-in on damp hair and then I use my oil or my butter whichever you guys prefer. But this this oil is probably the first oil I've really liked using as a sealant. I usually like butters a lot more, but I really, really like the glow, the Biddle Glow Drops. So if you wanna try an oil, I actually highly recommend that. It's very light, it leaves my hair super moisturized and soft for, for days, like for days, it's awesome, with very, very little residue. So that is kind of my routine. Some of the products I've, I keep more basic and budget friendly. However, like I said, I would like to shift these products to black owned products and I would love to do a video of black owned budget of a black owned budget friendly wash day routine for you guys. At least for those who are interested or if you're even interested, you guys know. Leave a comment down below to let me know. I'm not a product junkie. I am not a product hoarder. I try to use things within my budget or things that I already have left over. Reviewing things on YouTube, you know, I do have the benefit of being able to try a lot of different things. But the shampoo and the conditioner and then the, my oils tend to be, tend to not really change a whole lot. Those have been fairly consistent. It's usually my, the leave-in and the deep conditioners that tend to change depending on what I like at the time. Or like I said, or I just kind of make my own, which is the whatever conditioner I was, I'm using, Tresemme, and then whatever oil is your favorite. Mine was olive oil. But 
I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it answered a lot of questions for you. I hope that you guys would enjoy seeing a video on black-owned, budget-friendly wash day products. I think that'd be really fun to research and also maybe get some suggestions and try out for you guys. But again, don't forget to give this video a like and click that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to check out the merch and the channel memberships. Keep blooming, and I'll see you guys in my next video.